I think it is relevant to us in the decisions that obviously um, <laughs> the faculty makes. Um, what I was going to touch on, and it might go a little bit off base on student perspective, is um, the faculty freedom as far as in the state of Tennessee is actually within law that those the staff members should have academic freedom. However, um, within the research that I did, what's happening is, of course, like the department head is actually deciding the books for everyone. And so therefore, um, you know, lower staff really doesn't seem to have as much academic freedom. Perhaps they don't realize they have that academic freedom, that it is actually in law that they are allowed to choose something else. Or maybe it's just, well, they reviewed it for us, therefore we're gonna take it. Um, the other thing is, is I've noticed um, one time a department had actually made a whole course, and this was actually in a college experience. So one credit uh, class, and they made the course, but now they're charging $50 a student to take that as a textbook. And, <laughs> I actually said, hey, there are free alternatives out there for students, you know, that actually, you know, with my involvement in OpenStax, there was a college success book that I, I was aware of. I'm actually in it and said, you know, why don't you guys consider this? And they're like, well, we already did this. And I get their time and their effort, but we're talking $50 <laughs> and for one credit class. And I know that might not sound a lot but when you think let's pretend like it's 10 hours or ten dollars an hour that a student works that's five hours they're having to work for that one textbook when there's a free copy out there that they really wouldn't even look at and so what i ended up doing was actually contacting a few of the individual teachers and said hey there's this alternative would you take a look at it and they're, it's almost, it's a weird thing. Like even if they know they have academic freedom, they're scared to go against it. I've seen, you know, more, it seems like they're scared versus some, yeah, I had one professor last year that uh, I've actually trying to help him switch to, you know, open ed or whatever. Um, and he was like, you know what guys, biology is biology. I don't care what book you get. It's all the same topic, whatever. His problem is, is, and I noticed someone had put this in the chat, is the other resources that are needed, for instance, the labs. And so we're trying to come up with components for him to possibly replace those labs, especially now that we're all online and stuff. But yeah, it's, it's kind of, you know, where does academic freedom, where does that really stand with teachers to be able to go ahead and pick what they want?